Dear Diary, it's now Monday, it's uh, 9.48 a.m. And right now, it's 11 degrees, although I don't know how, it might probably do uh, changing right now, because it's relatively sunny, at the pretty sandy area in there, which I might probably just stay at. Uh, I woke up, uh, well, I wouldn't say pretty decently, because a little bit of a stomach ache and singing had happened to me. I don't know what happened, honestly. But good thing that it stopped, because I drank some milk. And uh, surprisingly, I wasn't late for my first lecture. I still had some thoughts, not related to that time, but um, specifically a bit hazardous thoughts that are pretty much a bit murderous at times. But um, honestly, I wouldn't say that it was new to me. However, because they have hindered me from focusing, so I think it's still another failure for me. And hopefully that failure does not continue any further. Um, and right now it's pretty normal. <clears throat> oh goodness. Like, and thanks to a to a little sandwich and a Pepsi. I think uh, things have went a little bit more nicer, I think. It's, um, it's only a few minutes or seconds or hours until my next lecture right now. So I might not be, so I might not be able to relax much longer. However, um, I'm gonna say, listening to most of the SCC sound chip uh, musics, especially from Snatcher, Metal Gear 2, and uh, SD Snatcher, like SD Snatcher probably have the best renditions over the original Snatcher. Although the sound chip is one, but the composition is pretty damn amazing. And uh, gotta be real. Like, I might be getting myself in more into the SCC versions of most of the video games. And especially SCC versions that are not complete waste of my time. Although, most of those games are... Not exactly the best, especially when they are almost laggy as shit. <sighs> and aside from all of the nerdy gaming talk about the MSX2 and whatsoever, because I know that none of you nowadays would ever get into it, so I guess that's something. Shit, I just realized I forgot my bag inside that goddamn hole. But, I mean, um, I'm not surprised. But, in any case, in any case, aside of that, I am pretty sure. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> However, um, at least I can talk about is that hopefully the rest of the day goes well. And I could actually focus and understand. And uh, the teachers would stop being cons consistently stupid. You know? You know, you know what's also really ridiculous about uh, universities? Is that you barely can find an area to sit down in. And you have to literally go completely stupid in order to just relax your back you know while having a decent time with the sunny areas 
But then, what can you expect from from some things that is literally could be pretty much worse than the goddamn schools? Well, I guess it really differs from a country to another. I don't know about what's in the U.S. really, and I honestly don't want to know anymore. And yeah. Sometimes I would just stick to what I have in my country and I would just stick to not traveling abroad, you know. I would rather just stay in town, I guess. And, uh, who knows? Who knows? Thankfully, I don't have this this much of reminder and thoughts that would get me to, um, you know, heavily thinking and whatsoever. Because you know, what can you possibly expect from a from a timeline that is uh, as fucked up as the fucked up futures and bad endings and most things that you watch or play or even read if there are any and um, yeah honestly I don't think my future and my life wouldn't get any more fucked up than that and it's really really sad that we have to accept this because let's be real something like that cannot be accepted at all it has to be changed at all costs but then since that you even trying to change what was already decent it already cost you a lot so why even bother changing at all if literally changing and going beyond what you already have that actually makes you feel decent is already enough to destroy your entire future and your entire life from literally going getting you back to the whole rock bottom but um, what do you know believe me what do you know we live in a we live in a timeline where you can't just simply do anything. You, know, you have to literally work twice as hard to even do that simple thing. <sighs> yeah. And um, uh, most of you would ask, how are the people in your college? You know, your, your classmates. If there are any people who would even ask. Well, Let's just say the boys are absolutely the boys and girls are equally dumb as shit. It's like they are still in high school instead of a university. It's like I'm still in my old high school instead of being in my university, which is really sad to watch and hear, to say the least. And any of you, um, some of you would tell, ask me, did you ever get a girl in college or make a friend? Well, and I honestly never will, because people at, because people in Egypt are equally as assholes as people in America. No offense, of course, to some of the decent people out there, but let's be real. They are as double-faced clowns and a bunch of fucking ass wipes and assholes as uh, as most of you are. Again, no offense to the ones that are actually being nice to me. And uh, I'm gonna end it here. And uh, hopefully, I uh, hopefully the day goes well. And hopefully, I can focus. Hopefully. 
I guess something great would happen. Even though I shouldn't be hoping for stuff like that anymore. And see you later.